debt crisis because it seems that we often in these types of circles their voters to convince them to vote for them and therefore some of the progress that's been made. President um, Lara sort of laid out the two types of countries. I think Sri Lanka falls into the uh, a batch where it has had to go through a period of debt relief and have negotiations with bilateral creditors, including China, and is now facing the idea of how to pay this money back. So what is the outlook for Sri Lanka after its debt relief um, was negotiated? And, and So where do you stand now on the ideas of debt no, relief? We, we, I, I must say we have performed well so far, and for the first time we've got positive growth. I would expect about 2% growth this year and uh, maybe on to about 4 or 5 next year. Uh, but as I mentioned, the main issue we have is how do you repay this because we've had a balance of payment issue. And secondly, we have a question of budgetary uh, issues also. Revenue is not enough for the expenditure. So on the revenue side, we work with IMF. We are increasing revenue and as growth comes in, there should be more revenue. We are also revamping our total revenue collection systems and we want to have a revenue authority replacing the individual uh, departments. Far as balance of payments is concerned is how we attract new investments and what are the areas. We've looked at as a new, as a short term, we have looked at tourism, agriculture modernization, which will also lead to exports and renewable energy. We have a fair amount of solar and wind power far beyond our needs. How do you utilize it at the moment when there's a demand and we are also going to sell part of it to India. But you, you have a bigger problem here. One is populism. You have the expectations of the people that have to be met, whether it's the United States or whether it's Lesotho. And most of us are living beyond our means, if you look at it in the conventional way. Then your bond markers, others, are at the moment have to operate on the conventional rules. Now, how do you have these two together. If you are going to apply the strict rules, all governments will collapse. So there's demand. You want housing, you want education, you have health, and this is not enough. So this is why, uh, in my view, you have got to sit down and take a view on this. How are we going to do it? Otherwise, this, is, this issue will go on. Your government must, at the end of the day, provide a minimum facility that's expected. Then in all our areas, all of a sudden, they want electricity into the village. They want roads into the village. We have to give water. So how do you, how do you mean Sri Lanka has done that over a period of time? I mean, we have, it's not so bad for us. We got into this problem because we have none, we took the loans on non-tradable goods. No way of paying back, but all our villagers today have uh, paved roads. We have better buildings in schools. So at the end of it, I can still say that part of it will help us for social development. But at the, uh, you have to resolve this issue in you know, Sri Lanka. We can manage it. It's a question all, I think, of Africa, you could say most. And Africa needs that money. They need the money. Just on this idea that you say Sri Lanka can, can achieve this, so talk about revenue collection, talking about taxes on households and businesses. Um, you are, you know, have an IMF um, you know, schema. Do you think this will breed any seeds of resentment among Sri Lankan populations later on or you think that the country... We, we, we've already had foreign investments. It's nothing new. Basically, from the time the Dutch came, they were investing. Then the British invested. <laughs> now we are investing. We were others. So it's... It, 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 I don't know if that something. means the IMF is a quasi-colonial power in Sri Lanka, but I don't uh, think that's what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So in any case, we, we, we can live with uh, foreign <laughs> investment and people are expecting foreign investment. So it, it, it's an open society. That, that's not a major issue for us. Uh, we think we want to make it on our own, but we don't want to add any more burdens. I think, but I am for debt relief for Africa. Just because we can handle it doesn't mean that African countries handle it. We are for debt relief for Africa.